Good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a dream. The second Pan American workshop for mechanical circulatory support and heart transplant can be compared to a small utopia. Rare, colorful, full of details. The preparation of the program of these three days of learning took place in the middle of a strong turbulence. As we made every effort to bring together in the same place people and high-level equipment, we witnessed men kill out of sheer intolerance and hate. Nationally in Brazil, we were crossing turbulent times. Our currency has plunged into an abyss and our public resources were struck in the sword of corruption. Worryingly, we see our children turn into an unbelieving generation almost without faith. In the midst of this storm, we exercised an endurance task force to be here today. Just as the tree does not die through a strong wind. But as scientists that we are, we believe in peace. And only peace is the way for the present and the future. We believe that in an unrelenting relenting storm, it's important to learn to dance in the rain. In the Orient, they have much to teach us the word crisis. To them means opportunity to, to grow. That's why we are here, ready to learn more about heart transplant and the latest technologies in mechanical circulatory support. Let's take advantage of the crisis and grow and grow precisely at a time when the world is in turbulence. Living means, first of all, to resist. In the second Pan American workshop that starts today, we will hear the voices of men who, like each one of us here, want the advancement of science, surgical techniques and technology to offer the world this lullaby, lullaby that both are needed to be heard, to offer the world solace, affection and love through medicine and science. We welcome you all. We are so grateful for each one of you. We are grateful for smart people of, as our lecturer Gonzalo Gonzalez Stavinsky who said he considered that his higher quality is the ability to learn from mistakes. We are grateful also to the presence of optimistic people like our other lecturer, Dr. Joseph Stalik, who said that our gathering here in Tampa will serve for sharing information, education and networking and bring advances that will soon directly impact the well-being of patients or passionate people about what they do, as the young Brazilian surgeon Fernando Atik, who in an interview for our fan page revealed, I was in love with the ability to operate on the heart to treat heart problems and change people's lives. Or visionary people like our young Brazilian doctor Fernando Figueira, who said that the mechanical circulatory assist devices are becoming smaller, universal, and as a science fiction book, will be key players in creating the bionic man. 
and we are also grateful for the presence of so many young students and residents, people who still have much to learn. Good job, everyone. Good job, every one of you that make the job a unique way of being happy, relieving pain and healing wounds. Good job to all of you who know what it means to be happy at the exact moment that the patient has their pain relieved. A big welcome and thank you for having said yes to our invitation. I think you will not regret it. Thank you.